The lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at the troubleshooter for your Google account sign-in issues. Now, pretty much any scenario that you could be encountering is covered by these particular options here. And obviously the most common one right at the top is you forgot your password. So if we have a look at that, you will see that you're actually provided with information on what it is you can do to address that issue. And you're even given tips on how to complete account recovery. Let's try one of the other options. The second most common one is probably you forgot the username or the email address username of the Google account that you're trying to sign into. And if you click on that, you are again shown information on what it is that you need to do and you're given tips. And you're also given access to the username recovery tool. So if we try that out, on this page, you're then asked to enter the phone number or the email address that you use for your recovery for the Google account that you can't remember the email for. So let's actually do that. And I'm going to enter the email address that I believe is the recovery email address for my mystery Google account. Click on next. And here I'm going to enter my name. And I'm going to click on next. Now, providing I've entered the correct information for a Google account that is stored at Google, I will be given information about it. In this case, I don't actually have a Google account that uses that recovery email address and that first and last name. I do have the option to try again, but let's go back to the troubleshooter and pick a different option. How about you use a Google account through your work, school or other group? Let's pick that option. You're then being asked to be a little bit more specific. What is it about this that is a problem for you? Well, let's say you're automatically signed into an account that you don't want to use. And you can see this is actually drilling down and it is leading you through the process um, of, of providing accurate information so that Google can give you accurate support. So we're automatically signed into a Google account that we don't want to use. And the explanation for why that might be happening is supplied to you. So going back to the troubleshooter, basically the troubleshooter is a really good way of addressing issues that you might have, even if you don't know quite how to formulate the problem that you're facing. Read through these options Pick the one that most closely resembles what the, the issue that you're facing and take it from there. I'm actually going to put the link for the troubleshooter in the video description below and I wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you for listening and goodbye.